So the synagogue of Satan's so-called experts on the nation of Islam are waiting to be called into action to dominate the mass news media with their lies, slander, and gossip. Yes, they are. Now in the Holy Quran, Allah states to the Messiah, therefore proclaim thou, again the Messiah, the praises of thy Lord, for by the grace of thy Lord, thou art no vulgar soothsayer, nor art thou one possessed. Or do they say, his enemies, a poet, we await for him some calamity hatched by time. Say thou, Allah telling the Messiah to say, await ye, I too will wait along with you. Well, what is this calamity that the synagogue of Satan hopes engulfs the Messiah, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan? Is this calamity the news that he has died? Is it the report that they have finally managed to kill him? Well, the Holy Quran gives us an indication of the controversy surrounding the Messiah's departure to the Father and what ensues after his departure from among us. The Bible also gives that. But it states in the Holy Quran, And when Allah will say, O Jesus, son of Mary, didst thou say to men, Take me and my mother for two gods besides Allah? He will say, Glory be to thee. It was not for me to say what I had no right to say. If I had said it, thou wouldst indeed have known it. Thou knowest what is in my mind, and I know not what is in thy mind. Surely thou art the great knower of the unseen. I said, Jesus speaking, I said to them, Naught save as thou didst command me. And that is, serve Allah, my Lord and your Lord. And I was a witness of them so long as I was among them. But when thou didst cause me to die, thou was the watcher over them. And thou art witness of all things. Now in verse 16, this is a prophecy. Allah is speaking with Jesus, in this case the Messiah, about circumstances taking place among the people whom Jesus is now no longer among. He's with the Father. So this indicates that after the Messiah's departure, his words and mission are to be intentionally or expected to be intentionally misrepresented by his enemies, including the hypocrites. Now, of course, Allah knows what Jesus taught, as Jesus indicated. You know what is in my mind, but I don't know what's in yours. But the question that Allah asks alludes to the great controversy produced by the slanders after the Messiah's departure from among the people. Now, in verse 17, Jesus reaffirms that this gross misrepresentation of his teachings and mission did not occur while he was among the people, but after Allah took him from among them. So many hypocrites, agents of the synagogue of Satan and disbelievers are eagerly waiting on the Ambalus Farrakhan's departure so that they can misrepresent the circumstances of his departure first and also discredit his teachings and mission through slander, mainly against his domestic life. I know you're waiting in the wings with your arsenal of slander so you can jump on the people with your barrage of lies. But of course you won't say it while he's present why he can defend, defend himself. And this is what this, these verses or prophecy point to. Jesus said, well, look, you can confirm when I was with them, I taught them that. 
Nobody said a damn thing when I was here teaching them of my representation of your word. But when you brought me to yourself, here goes the hypocrites, the disbelievers and dumb believers who feed into the slander. We're going to come back to that. Now, the phrase in this prophecy. But when thou didst cause me to die, obviously cannot mean death because the law is not questioning a dead man. In another place in the Holy Quran, it says Jesus appeared as though he had died on the cross. So we're still talking about the appearance. But in the Bible, Jesus states. I came forth from the father. And I am come into the world. Again, I leave the world and I go to the father. Now, as we said in the previous message some time back. These words are fulfilled through the Honorable Louis Farrakhan's meeting with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad on the Great Mother Plain on September 17th, 1985, where he came forth from the Father, left the Mother Plain and came here into this world with a work and a message to do. Now he leaves this world and returns to the Father again. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad on the Great Mother Plain. But this occurs once again on the heels of persecution by the synagogue of Satan. 